so we'll see. No, we'll see how it works. I mean, it's whatever, man. Hey, what's going on? Um, oh, you started it? Yeah. I forgot what the name of my YouTube channel is. It's like Fantasy Sports Talk. Talk. Yeah. Like Anyways, what's going on, guys? Nobody's going to watch this, but we're going to do a response video of Tristan Cockroft's from ESPN. His, um, what date is this? June 1st, 2011 uh, projections for how these guys are going to do for the rest of the season. We're going to discuss Baseball. the top 20. Okay, first of all, Jose Bautista, who we own in the league that we share. Yes, he's number one. So what do you think about Bautista? Does he deserve to be there? He's projecting 30 home runs. I mean, how can you... How can you I mean, I guess you can make arguments for other guys to be number one, but how can you not like... The guy's been hitting, man. I know, he's the best guy so far this season. He's got 20 home runs. He's been like 350 something. He's he's hit like 20 home, 20 something home runs more than anybody in the last like year to date or something. He says 31 home runs in the season too. I mean, I don't you can't you can't go wrong with Batista, I don't think at this point. And he's actually projecting him to hit 297 the rest of the way, which is obviously below his what, like 357 or something. One of the craziest occurrences in baseball I ever made cuz he used to be so bad. Yeah. Well, not bad, but he just was never a power hitter. <laughs> I already spent like 30 seconds or more on Batista. We got to go faster on that. Ryan Braun. Ryan Braun's number 2. I can see that. he's had a monster year so far. Braun's a stud. 14 more stolen bases, you think he'll get that? Yeah. He's already got like well, over that? ten. Does he? Yeah. Why not? Okay. Adrian Gonzalez hitting in a great. He's lineup. heating up. I don't know if I'd put him number three. I mean, I like him. Where would you? But put he him? did have a slump for the first month. That could come back. Who knows? You know. There's Where would you put him? In Boston. I don't know. I haven't really got to see the rest of the list. I mean, okay. I'd rather have Pujols at this point. I even though Pujols okay. is struggling. Pujols is I'd number four. Pujols. And Miguel Cabrera. I'd rather have Miguel Cabrera than both. Cabrera is five. There's not much to say about some of these guys. You know, maybe we'll talk more about. Yeah, them you guys know that later on. Most of these dudes. I think Cabrera. Um, I would definitely have him over Adrian Gonzalez and Pujols. You know, Cabrera could easily be number one. He's just he does. I mean, he, he does, does like, the same thing every year. You know, Pujols is struggling. Adrian Gonzalez struggled to begin the season. Mm -hmm. Oh, he's got the most RBIs right now. Right. Currently in the season, as of June first. So let's go to number six. Hanley Ramirez at number six. He's projected to hit 16 more home runs, steal 22 more bases, and hit 294. He's barely hitting over 200. When I see Hanley, dude, every year, they ESPN in particular <laughs> ranks him number two. After Pujols, take Hanley Ramirez. Hanley the Ramirez. past three years in a row, from what I remember, he's number but two. But each year, he's... Underperformed? Yeah, he underperforms. He doesn't meet these expectations. So I think maybe it's time to realize maybe he's not going to be. The expectations. I mean, he's overrated. I mean, he's had some good seasons. Don't get me wrong. He's had I think he was seasons. he was better his first like couple seasons. But he's doing horrible this season. I, overrated. Know, I just have a problem putting him overrated. Overrated. I think he's got a pinch nerve now. I might go in the DL. I drafted him first. I just want to say that in one of our leagues, twelve team. I would rather have Jose it. Reyes or Tulowitzki. I'd rather Easily have anybody from the top ten. Over. Joey Votto at number seven. He's he's what just your say? average good player. He's your solid player. Carlos Gonzalez. I don't like Carlos. Too high. I agree. Uh, Two ninety three batting average the rest of the way. I don't think so. That His bat of last year goal, was way high. That's why he hit over 300. Cano, is there to say about him? I don't know, man. Solid. I I'm, I'm indifferent on him. I really don't know. Never, okay. I, I don't know what his stats are for the season, to be honest. Rodriguez at 10? I think, I mean, maybe 10 is a little high, but I think A-Rod is a good player. I mean, you're going to get what you get from home runs, RBIs. Definitely get the RBIs. You get stolen bases out. occasionally, too. I mean, does he project seven more stolen bases? What about Matt Kemp at 11? I'd rather have him than Carlos Gonzalez. Five category yeah. guy right there. Stolen he's bases. Doing, he's doing. I think he's off to the best start of his career. I'm not, not, not. Don't quote me on that. I'm not positive. <laughs> yeah, he, we don't actually know. <laughs> but uh, he's he's had a monster start to this season. Yeah, and we actually saw him at the Astros game, where he, he got yeah, a home run shot. off. Uh, yeah. Was it a new Under, by Rodriguez? Under Rodriguez? Yeah. Broke up. Uh, oh, never mind. Never mind. <laughs> I know what you guys say. Broke up the no hitter. <laughs> yeah, I forgot. Through like Under three and uh, two thirds innings. All right, so we got Troy. Tolowitzki at 12. You know, Troy is hard to predict. He's, he was, he's streaky, man. First couple weeks, dude, I was like, oh my god, I picked up the best guy this season because he had those so many home runs. Yep. He had like seven in the first couple weeks. Monster, man. And since then, he's only got like four or five more. Jose Reyes, you never know what you're getting with him. You know, but man, he's been 13 good. 13 overall, he, I mean, he's a beast. I hope the San Francisco Giants can get him. But, uh... Obviously... I'm not a bandwagon fan either. I've I've followed the Giants for. You lived there. I mean, I lived in Monterey, California. Not anymore. You want to give your home address with that? <laughs> Thirty Seventeen Crescent Street. He doesn't live there anymore. Marina, so California. Like, I think it's like a, it's like a like a little frat house now or something. Oh yeah. 
<laughs> we should go in, man. Check it out. All right, so we got Mark to share at 14. Uh, low bat. He's actually had a low batting average lately, man. He, I looked at his average. He's got before. 16 home runs. I have him on my right. team, too. He used to hit over 300 consecutively yeah. or around yeah. there. Now he's, Who was he with before the Angels? Or not the Angels, before, uh, yeah, he was in the Angels for a while, wasn't he? Before. He was in the Rangers, that's right. He was in the Do people Rangers. get worse when they play for the Yankees, except their RBIs go up? I think the Yankees, there's a lot of pressure associated with playing. Yeah, I can agree with that. In that sort of environment. Okay, what about Crawford at 15? Man, did he jump up. Where was he? He was pretty, it says recently, his last He was 17, 17. yeah, but uh, he'd been heating He's up. He said he better. I think Crawford's a safe go now. I think 15's about right. You don't know if he, I don't think you should put him in the top 10, because you don't really know at right. this point. Granderson at 16. Dude, he's, a, he's, he's a, a wild card. He's got right? what, 17 home runs? Yeah. 16. He's, something like that. He's projected at 23 more. He thinks 23 more. Just two season. less than Tashira. Any bats second in the lineup. So that if he hits 23 more home runs, 11 more stolen bases. Yeah, I mean, he's, yeah, he's batting two right behind Tashira and A Rod. He's going to score some runs. Okay, so we got Jacoby Ellsbury at Ellsbury 17. Ellsbury has done really well this season. And he had a slow start to the season, so, man, he's projected to, to no, steal 38 story. more bases, so. Six more. I mean, he's got like five home runs too. I mean, he has a little bit of pop in there too for a small base guy. He's gonna oh, yeah. like ten to twelve home runs. He's got a good average. Then you got Holiday eighteen. There's not much to say. Holiday's consistent. Holiday's just been consistent this year. Yeah. Josh Hamilton, great player, always hurt. That's um, just the risk you get with Hamilton. If you could get him for a whole season, he'd be a, probably be a top ten guy. Oh, top five maybe. But you just don't know if he'll get him for the whole season. So. Exactly. And then Longoria last finally at twenty. Evan Longoria. Bad start to the season, wouldn't you say? I haven't really looked at him. Obviously, he was hurt. Right. So, he didn't do anything. I mean, yeah. I thought my board would be higher. But I think he'll be a top 15. I mean, I know it's five places. Yeah. not a big difference, but... Third baseman is like... He only hit 21 home either. runs last year. He only hit 21? Yeah. I thought it was like 24. I don't know. It was down. But anyways, that's, uh, that's a top our response to Tristan Cockross, 1 through 20. We'll be back with 21 through 40. All right.